Hello friends! Today you'll see how actors of the movie Batman have changed. You'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 1981 and what's with them now in 2021. If you don't have a time, you can change the playback speed to 1.5 to watch this video full. The Joker, played by Jack Nicholson, was the chosen alias of Jack Napier, a mob enforcer whose appearance was radically altered by chemicals and botched plastic surgery. Joker became Batman's first great enemy after he attempted to take control of the city from the mob. Carl Grissom, Jack Palance, was the most powerful crime lord in Gotham City, with some or even most of the Gotham City Police Department GCPD, on his payroll, including Lieutenant Eckhart. The recently elected district attorney Harvey Dent began to make connections between Grissom and Nexus Chemicals. James Gordon was the commissioner of the Gotham City Police Department. Gordon regards Batman as a rumor at best and vigilant at worst, though by the end of the film he and Gotham City's citizens publicly acknowledged his usefulness. He was played by Pat Hingle. Harvey Dunn, Billy D. Williams, became district attorney of Gotham City and vowed to rid the city of its crime, with one of his ideas being taken down mob boss Carl Grissom. He then allied with Batman in order to end crime in Gotham and make it a peaceful city. Batman, Michael Keaton, was an alter ego and personality deviation of Bruce Wayne who was formed in response to the sudden and brutal murder of his parents when he was 10 years old. A dark and brooding crime fighter, Batman saw himself as a protector of Gotham City. Alfred Pennyworth is Bruce Wayne's valley at Wayne Manor. He knows that Bruce is secretly Batman and aids him. Alfred Pennyworth, after a varied career, was employed as the Wayne family valley when Bruce Wayne's parents were killed. Alfred was ported by Michael Gow. Alexander Knox was a reporter at the Gotham Globe. Knox believed in Batman and was very positive about him as well. He would often foster the notorious Lieutenant Eckhart at crime scenes with witnesses claiming they saw a giant bat. He was ported by Robert Wood. Bob the Goon was the Joker's close and trusted friend and first lieutenant among the Joker goons until he was shot by Joker. Bob had shoulder length blonde hair, chin stubble and a scar on his left cheek, like the Joker's other followers. He was played by Tracy Walter. The late Leo Millis, known professionally as Lee Wallace, was an American film, stage and television actor. He was portrayed by Mayor Borg in Batman. Mayor Borg was Gotham City's mayor during the Joker's reign of terror, died December 20, 2020, aged 90. Max Eckhart, William Hootkins, was a lieutenant of the GCPD during the time period that Batman made his presence known in Gotham City. He was one of the many corrupt officers on the payroll of crime lord Carl Grissom. Eckhart belittled reporter Knox for his belief in Batman. This man was one of the Joker's many goons. This goon was extremely tall and thin, with a scar on the right side of his lips. He liked to wear a flat, bird-like cap. He was first seen in a meeting with the Gotham City crime lords. He was courted by Richard Strange. Terence, Terry Plummer, was one of the Joker's seven leading goons. Terence had a prematurely gray hair, a stocky build, and was extremely similar in appearance to the overweight Joker goon. Terence's hair color and head detail were the only ways that told them both part. An overweight goon, Mike McDonald, was one of the Joker goons. He wore a black baseball cap, extremely similar in appearance to Terence. This goon's cap had a small button in the center of it. Other than that, his hair color was the only way that told him and Terence apart. Nick, Christopher Fairbank, was a mugger in Gotham City. Nick and his partner Reddy mugged a tourist with his wife and son in an alley near the Monarch Theater. When the man turned the corner, Nick struck his neck with the butt of his revolver, knocking him unconscious. 
Actor Sam Douglas has played many extras and side characters in movies, most notably Batman 1989, The Fifth Element 1997, Snatch 2000, Derailed 2005, and Columbiana 2011. In Batman, he played a minor role of a lawyer. Bob Kane was a newspaper cartoonist who worked for the Gotham Globe. He showed Alexander Knox a drawing of a vampire bat with a man's body. A caption was included that read, Have you seen this man? Bob Kane was portrayed by actor Dennis Lill. Michael Balfour was the actor working mainly in British films and TV. He has a recognizable face, often in small character parts, in nearly 200 films and TV shows. In Batman, he was only shown once as the Axis chemical scientist, preparing acid for the Joker. Bruce McGuire, portrayed by Peter McElroy, the Gotham City action news anchorman in Batman. His career is primarily based in Italy. McGuire appeared as Wade Joe in the movie A Good Woman, 2004, with Tom Wilkinson, who portrayed Carmine Falcone in Batman Begins. Gary Hagen starred as Harold, the father of the tourist family in Batman, and Henry Adams in Batman Arkham Knight. He is also well known to sci-fi fans as Kai in the Doctor Who storyline The Mutants 1972 and Star Wars Episode 4 and New Hope 1977. Actress Rachel Carl is best known for playing recurring character Trinity Wells in the BBC science fiction series Doctor Who and its spin-off series Archwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures. In the Batman movie, she is a minor character and played the TV technician. Alicia Hunt, Jerry Hall, was crime boss Carl Grissom's mistress and paramour to his top enforcer Jack Napier. After Jack becomes the Joker, Alicia continues to act as his villainous paramour. The Joker would disfigure Alicia's face with acid and force her to wear a mask. Wiki Whale, Kim Basinger, is a beautiful prize-winning photojournalist who attempted to uncover the secret of the mysterious Batman and inadvertently became the object of obsession for the Joker. Shang Yong was originally cast as Wiki Whale, but on the shot scenes she broke her collarbone. Richard Dorton was the director of action news during the Joker's reign of terror in Gotham City, when Encore Woman suddenly broke out into hysterical laughter and collapsed during live filming of action news, the show's director ordered the camera operators to stop filming. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.